Good morning from Oslo Airport. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm lazy with the vlogs. Yes, you are. I am. We are on our way to Lofoten in Norway. It's going to be your first time in Lofoten. <laughs> yes. So right now we are heading on the airplane and we just wanted to give you a little bit tip. If you're ever in Norway and you want to head up to Lofoten where we're heading right now, we checked a lot of different prices. And the best thing you can do is if you're under 25, you can jump on a youth ticket with SIS to Buda and then fly over to Leknes. That's actually the most convenient option. There's also a secondary option where you fly into Buda and you take the fast speed ferry over the fjord over to Lufoten. But it ends up being more expensive in the end because then you need to catch a bus to wherever you're staying on that yeah, Lufoten arm. Yeah, plus you need to eat. You yeah. need to eat. There's a lot of stuff so it really doesn't add up. Yeah. The most convenient thing is to... Fly to where? Fly What's to Leknes. 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 So probably you guys can't spell it. Here's how it's spelled. Boom. Uh, but I'm proud of you. You're getting uh, used to the cold conditions. Not really, because um, I'm the type of person who gets annoyed whenever I'm wearing so much clothes. I'm a tropical girl. I'm an island girl, so I'm not really used to this. But now I'm getting the hang of it. That's true. Yeah. All right, comment below if you think I should become a tropical boy and visit the Philippines. But first, let's go Norway. Okay, so we have pushed through the security gates. As a filmmaker, of course, I was uh, randomly checked. Right now, we are jumping on the plane to Buda. And, to Buda. And uh, we'll see you there. I'm gonna steal your shot. I know you will. Hey there. Burgers and beers. Yes. And a beer. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so our flight further to Lufoten was delayed with one hour, which meant we had some time for burgers and beers. And I've gotten to know Alva now, so I'm always, whenever I am serving her food, also making sure that there's a spoon present. So, I don't know how you're gonna use this with a spoon, but I'm excited to see it. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Oh, cut that out. The, the burgers? Yeah, I love yeah. the burgers. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Woo! Okay, guys, we have bottled up <laughs> got our coats and beanies because on this airport we need to go outside <laughs> and they're plowing the freaking runway right now that's how much snow it is in Buda oh no <laughs> this is insane <laughs> so much snow <laughs> There's snow on top of the seat. Oh yeah. well, it's we had to remove it, but there's freaking snow on top of the seat. You don't see that every day. <laughs> this is a small plane, guys. It's a very small plane. <laughs> to Lufuten. The sun just set, I think. Yeah. But it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So we've just been picked up by Marcus from Surtsindu. Yeah. Yes. How are we? Hi, man. <laughs> Good. Ready. Hell yeah. And we made it to Sulcidem Brigga! <laughs> Woof! So me and Marcus have been talking about for over two years to make this thing happen where I come up to Lofoten, hang out at their beautiful hotels and explore Lofoten. Yeah. So right now, before I update you more, we're gonna get an introduction to the hotel and I'll get back to you. Can you guys believe that? Oh my god, look how beautiful that is. So we just arrived at our accommodation for this week. And this place is just been refurbished. It looks amazing. 
This place is actually for six people. Beautiful view. Actually, insane view. Listen how quiet it is. Can you guys hear that? There's not a sound. There's no wind. It's amazing. Beautiful. Big living room. Step down. Fireplace. Let's shut on the lights so you guys can see. Two nice, amazing couches. Marcus, you have outdone yourself. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, I think I need to come back for this summer with Kim and we're gonna jump this place. Wow. It's beautiful out there. Hey. Hey. What do you think about our hotel room? It's so big. <laughs> Or should I say house? You got to be excited. Ave is a chef and I think she's in love with that kitchen. Yep, I am. <laughs> oh I my god. Now, even if I'm not yet hungry. <laughs> Ave, I want you to feel this. Open that window and listen to how quiet it is outside. There's not even a sound, there's no wind. How crazy. And we have a bathroom. With heated floors. Heated floors, that's important. We have a giant masters. What an amazing view and a private porch. Moving on, there's another master with an even greater view. And over here, if you have kids, you can bring them along. So that's, uh, that's basically our accommodation here for the next five days. I know we're gonna have a great time and if you guys wanna check this hotel out, I think it's one of the best located spots if you're ever in Lufoten. Hit the link in the description below to check out their prices, their activities, all the fun stuff that you can do here. This is more than just a hotel, it's an experience hotel, okay? They have boats, they have kayaking, they have fishing experiences. And local guides, dude, like locals that knows what's up around the area. That's why it's such a convenient hotel to to stay at. Okay, <laughs> guess it's time for me to get settled. I'll see you guys later. So we just made it back from a little grocery store stop, and I'm setting up the ultimate charging station. I always bring this extension cords to all the projects that I attend, and. <laughs> <laughs> Leads into a huge huge mess, but Yeah, and she's cooking fish soup today yeah, and, this and, is, rice, of course. and rice, yeah, ever since Ava Got uh, to Norway. I've been eating so much rice. I think we're down to like four packages now Yeah <laughs> Spending more on rice than it's electricity bills, huh? <laughs> <laughs> After this meal, we are going to go out and hunt some Northern Lights. Marcus, which is the hotel manager here, has promised to take us out. And we're really yeah. thankful for that. They're pretty nice. They're, They're pretty super nice. nice. We just spend a couple of hours with them. And hopefully we'll get to see some Northern Lights. It's going to be obvious first time. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. I love seeing people's reaction hey, to something they've okay, never seen before. I can help you, of course. <laughs> So the thing about Northern Lights is that they don't just stay in one place necessarily. They move around, so that's why it's called a hunt. So we're currently back in the car. <laughs> we just got a photo of his first Northern Lights photo. Pretty stoked on that. Good morning. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so I just spent about 20 minutes capturing the surroundings before this 
insane snowstorm just hit me. <laughs> and then, you know, it's time to land your drone. All right, guys, check out this snowstorm that just rolled in on us. <laughs> the weather just changes so fast here. I was like, I was in the air two seconds ago for a beautiful sunrise. This is beautiful too though. A lot of people come to Northern Norway just to experience rough weather. So, what's Hi. up? It's snowing outside. Oh my gosh, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna cook you breakfast. Thank you. Yeah. Because you've drawn for me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> breakfast or brunch? It's already 11 p.m. So it's know. like brunch now. Rice for breakfast. You can't complain. <laughs> The day has come. It's actually only four o'clock here, but it got dark two hours ago. We just put some logs in the fireplace. Mm -hmm. We're having a work session over here. Yep, what's up? We're both just hammering content, and then later we're gonna have a nice, nice meal. So that's pretty much it. Time to work on my California vlog. <laughs> After what? <laughs> After months? two, three months. Yeah, I've been, been busy, but I'm getting back on it. We have been working so hard editing throughout the day and just like making content for you guys. All right, Ava, so this is for you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. And the thing that I like about our cabin is that it's fully equipped. Everything that you need, they got it. From wine glasses to champagne bottles, shot glass, water glasses, bowls, mugs bowls and everything they have it i am about to cook our dinner that's nice <laughs> we have some logs over here not all hotels lets you cook your own food the thing that i like about it the most is that i can cook like without even thinking of hey i need this i need that martin is still working never chilling I have just been served an amazing first course soup by the chef herself. Hi. <laughs> you are amazing, Ava. Thank you. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay, begin. So what are we eating here? This is corn and cauliflower cream of soup. What have you served me now? This is um, a ribeye steak, mashed potatoes, and sautéed veggies. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Last piece, eh? Last pizza. <laughs> Very good. Bon Let's eat. Oh my god, I'm so spoiled. Look at this. So due to the bad weather today, we decided to just stay in, work, 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 and uh, treat ourselves a nice dinner with some wine. We have uh, lit up the fireplace. Yeah, we bought it outside in a winery shop. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Last pizza. Skol. Skol. <laughs> and we're about to have a movie night. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, guys, we made it outside. <laughs> it's so much snow, it's ridiculous. But I love this. I'm a sucker for winter times. And we got this rental call from Hertz for 60 euros per day. And if you're early on in booking it, they also deliver it to Sulsindrige, which is a really, really nice offer that if I was you and if I was myself two months ago, I would do that because it was a hassle getting it this morning, but still it's working. So, ah, let's get in there. Let's get out there. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, look at her wifey material. Good. Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this the first time you're ever doing this? Yeah. I'm doing it right. <laughs> no, it's good. Keep doing it. I'm gonna get in the warm car. We drove 20 minutes from the hotel <laughs> and we found this view amazing like our car is just so small compared to this enormous environment that we're in super quiet and January no tourists Whip Ming big time let's go <laughs> all right you guys we just set up a new scene here uh, we're only two people traveling and when we both want to be in it, it's really, really good to have a tripod. And then we have a 10 second timer, that way 
I can push the button and run up to other. Okay. Oh, you're heavy! <laughs> I'm just joking! <laughs> Right now we're about 20 minutes out of Vaux. It's been a beautiful drive so far. We started this morning in a snowstorm but it's cleared up and the mountains are just covered in this beautiful fog on the top. The sun is about to go down so we have a golden light on our left. Uh, it's just been an amazing drive. <laughs> this is probably the most uh, one of the most spectacular spots here in Lufthansa. This amazing rectangular shaped mountain right here. You have some Rudebuer around. It's uh, I like it during winter. I really do. So, after a long uh, day of driving, we finally made it to the final destination on the Lufthansa Arm. We made it to O, and the fish restaurant here opens at 5, so we're a bit too early. Alright you guys, on our way home we stopped by this little seafood snack store. They actually sell, look at that, stockfish snack, a bag of dried fish. Fish is one of Norway's biggest export next to oil, which is why in northern Norway the fish is a big, big thing. Yeah. This is called a Lofoten oh hat. Gosh, this looks cute. It's a Lofoten hat. That's how the fishermen have in Lofoten. <laughs> this looks cute. <laughs> we should I get. Look like you know the bear, the yeah, yeah, yeah. cartoon character. We should get one for you. I look so Asian. Like an Asian tourist. <laughs> True, you are though. <laughs> they also sell hamburgers here, so if you're hungry, it's on Sakris A. So after a long day out on the road, we have finally got back to our hotel at Sursidenbrygge. And um, Ave is preparing some food right now, while I'm going back to the reception to get some logs. Because we pretty much burned up an entire sack yesterday. We're having a good time. Um, let's see if there's anybody home. Hey! <laughs> so you guys, I have just picked up a sack of logs. And Ava has prepared the food, so it's time for me to go home and enjoy a nice evening of chill. Gotta keep them ladies warm, it's important. Hello! Oh my god! Two seconds, I have a log in my hand. <laughs> but here's a wine bottle. Whoa! Here! Thank you! You're welcome. Alright! Oh my god! I'm a lucky man. <laughs> okay guys, uh, as much as I would love for you guys to be a part of this, I'm going to have to enjoy this for myself. If you're not yet subscribed to Ava Love It and Soul Hagen, make sure to press that subscribe button and to Ava Love It, yes. And give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below which part of this vlog is your favorite. And we'll see you guys on the next Marvel Love. What's up?